A nine-month space saga which has gripped the world is finally coming to an end. Astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams are on their way back to Earth after an extended stay on the International Space Station. Their glee was clear to see. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams gave final hugs and waves before floating into the craft, finally taking them home. The hatch between the International Space Station and pressurised mating adapter number two is now closed. Thankfully, no more mechanical or technical troubles. Safety checks completed successfully. The Dragon SpaceX craft detaching from the International Space Station. And undocking confirmed. Bound for Earth. Your service has been very much appreciated and uh, we'll miss you, but uh, have a great journey home. Nine months ago they arrived with similar joy. A scheduled eight-day mission was indefinitely extended due to propulsion issues with the Boeing Starliner, their ride home. Both of them have trained for a good chunk of their lives to be astronauts and neither of them had been to space in many years and so this I think even though it was unexpected it was a bit of a welcome surprise. A surprise which caused a stir on earth. Boeing's 4.5 billion dollar NASA contract was questioned as the US president blamed his predecessor posting they shamefully forgot about the astronauts because they considered it to be a very embarrassing event for them. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams were kept busy, completing more than 150 experiments, including one involving Australia's Swinburne University. It was our fungi in space and it went up oh, yeah. with Butch and Sonny's uh, extra clothing items actually, so we sent it to space and it has already been returned to Earth to us all in the time that these astronauts have been aboard on the space station. The Dragon capsule with its crew of four is scheduled to splash down off the Florida coast on Wednesday morning. Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams will be monitored for potential health problems given radiation exposure and the rigours of a long stay in space. Because they're not also engaging lots of physical activity uh, against resistance, the cardiovascular respiratory systems also decline. We're losing muscle, strength, power, bone mass, and aerobic and cardiovascular sort of capacities. Physical costs from one emotional, dramatic work trip. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.